Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will calibrate the reversing heat capacity using modular DSC on the Discovery SDT650. The reversing heat capacity calibration uses a standard material with a known heat capacity over a specific temperature range of interest. Under instrument options, we have heat capacity reference data available for sapphire and polystyrene. If you want to add another standard and its reference data to trails, you can load it here. Today, we are going to use sapphire to calibrate the reversing heat capacity. To prepare the sample, there is a sapphire disk in your SDT accessory kit for heat capacity calibration. It is the same sapphire that we use for the heat flow calibration. Next, get two clean and empty pens. Make sure the mass difference between those two pens is less than 1 mg. It is also preferred that to use weight matched pens for the heat flow calibration prior to the reversing heat capacity calibration. If you have an auto sampler, Place the two pens on the tray. If you do not have an auto sampler, manually place the pens on the sample and reference beams. Remember to tear the pens before starting the calibration. To set up the reversing heat capacity calibration, go to the calibration panel. First, you need to make sure you have weight, temperature, heat flow, and cell constant calibrations completed and applied. Then go to the calibration setup, select reversing heat capacity. Input the information below for the calibration. Enter the sample name, pen numbers if you have an auto sampler, and select the standard for the calibration. You can also input operator's name project name along with some notes. Here is where you enter the parameters for the modulated DSC method. Use 3 degrees Celsius as the modulated temperature amplitude, 200 seconds as the modulation period, and 5C per minute as the ramp rate. Next, enter the start and final temperatures for the calibration. The range of temperatures should be at least as broad as desired experimental range. Lastly, input the weight of your standard. After calibration, use the same modulate DSC parameters to run your samples. After everything is complete, select one of the options here to start the calibration. If you queue the calibration, it will send the run to the experiments view, and here you can double check all the information you just entered. Then click start to start the test. When the test is finished, the calibration data will appear in results and will be saved to the instrument. It is always a good idea to check the calibration data before you move forward. You can also open a calibration file and apply it manually. Right click on the file, go to calibration, then choose heat capacity. Now you can see the calibration results. Before you apply, check the calibration curves to see if the curves are smooth and if there are any spikes or peaks. If the calibration results look good, then click apply. Then go to Calibration tab. You will find the recently applied calibration for the reversing heat capacity. After the calibration is done, it is recommended to do a verification with the same set of pens and the same standard. To set it up, go to Experiments and create a new run with the same method. Enter the information such as sample name, pen numbers, etc. Go to Procedures, select 
modulated DSC. Use the same modulated DSC parameters and the same temperature range, then click Start. When the verification is done, you will find the data in results. Plot reversing heat capacity normalized signal versus temperature to show the heat capacity data. Send previous calibration to the current verification run. Right click on the graph. Go to Select Variables. Show Extended List. Then choose Heat Capacity Standard. Since we are using the same standard for calibration and verification, you can put both signals in one Y axis. Then click OK. If the data from the verification test matches the reference data nicely, you can go ahead and start running your samples. In this tech tip, we calibrated the reversing heat capacity using modulated DSC on the Discovery SDT650. Stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.